I got this battery pack for $10. It's an e-bike battery pack and wasn't working at all. In this video, let's fix this and follow along to learn how you can diagnose and fix your own battery pack. This e-bike battery pack doesn't respond at all. Even if I plug the button, which should show us a light, it doesn't show any light. The batteries inside are completely dead. It is a 36 volt, 9.6 amp battery pack. It's an e-bike battery pack. And the connector down there has positive and negative terminals. Let's check the voltage with a multimeter to confirm if there is any voltage or any power left in this battery pack. Measuring with the multimeter, I don't see any voltage. It's not even going one volt, which is not good. Let's figure out what's actually wrong with this battery pack. I started unscrewing the battery pack by removing all the screws. Remove all the screws slowly and carefully. After unscrewing all the screws, it took me a really long time to get the terminals out because they use a hot glue inside to secure everything in place and everything was super tight. Take your time when you're doing this process. Slowly and carefully remove all the elements around the terminals and carefully extract the wires. After struggling for a long time, being extra careful with the knife, I could extract the terminals. You can see it had a lot of hot glue in it, which made it super tough for me to remove this. Once I removed all the junk out, I could see the terminals. We had positive, negative and auxiliary wire, which is in yellow. And the positive is completely exposed, so we have to be careful when we are working along with it. Even on the top side, I unscrewed all the terminals, but I don't see any chances of removing it or trying to remove it because it's super hard. And now when I measure the voltage again, it still shows zero volts. Using a female DC jack, let's try force charging this battery pack. The female DC jack, I have connected positive and negative leads. I'm using a 42 volts lithium battery charger. Just double check the voltage from the charger. It says 42 volts. And now I connected the positive terminal, negative terminal directly to the positive and negative leads of the battery end. And be careful that they shouldn't touch each other, have a spacing and monitor. Connecting the DC leads and turning on the charger, the charger started blinking. The green light just blinked. It didn't give us a red light, it was just blinking, blinking, blinking. And if I measure the voltage, it shows that it is going up slowly. Now, before we didn't see any voltage, if you remember. And now we can see it shows 7, 10, 8. It is fluctuating because by force charging, we are trying to recharge the battery packs externally. It is a risky move, but you have to be very careful when you're doing this. And you shouldn't charge completely and you should just do close to a threshold where the BMS or the battery management system would let you charge the battery pack from the terminal through BMS. After a couple of minutes, I disconnected the charger and it read 14 volts, which is a great start. I connected back the charger port to the external female DC jack and left it for a couple of minutes. After a while, the charger started showing red, which means it is charging the battery pack. When I checked the voltage, it shows 35 volts and it was pretty quick. It indicates that the batteries weren't dead. They were just needing the external charge. Now, if I press the button, the battery shows a red light, which means it is low on charge. That is a good indication. We didn't have any lights before and now we have a red light. Let's plug the charger directly into the battery pack charger terminal. Once we do that, we see the charger going red and it is charging through the BMS now, which is what we needed to achieve. Because externally, when we are force charging, the batteries are not balanced charged, which means they are unevenly charged, which is not good for a battery pack. And when we are charging it through the BMS, the BMS charge individual batteries evenly, which is what we need to do. After letting it charge for a while, the charger turned green, which means it is fully charged. And when I press the button, it shows blue. It also indicates that the battery pack is completely charged. Now let's measure the voltage to double confirm if it is reading the exact voltage which we need. When checking the voltage with a multimeter, the voltage starts fluctuating. It started with 25 and it just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. Why? Because if you see towards the black terminal, there is the yellow wire. That is an auxiliary wire. Auxiliary wire is used to activate the other half of a battery. So let's connect the yellow wire to the back wire. You have to just wrap it around the black wire and measure the voltage again. Now when we do measure it, it reads 35 volts. 
it reads stable 35 volts that is what we need and this battery is very good now i started to extend the terminals i using a soldering iron i started applying some solders on both positive negative and auxiliary wires using an 18 gauge wire i applied some soldering to that i started soldering that wire to the terminal with a double layer of heat shrink for the positive and negative terminals to make sure it is secure fine pass the end cap through the extended wires and let solder the xt60 connector solder each wire apply heat shrink and make sure it was tight after screwing the end caps properly fine i checked the voltage it read 34 volts i plugged in the charger again it started charging fine the voltage was reading fine this means our battery pack is alive and working 100% fine we're going to use this battery pack for our future builds to follow along keep subscribing to the channel and like this video